Hey everyone, Achika here again, and I'm back with another DCUO base tour. Um, in today's base, we'll be viewing Equinoxial Delights, which is Amalthea here's base. Um, and it's just a celebration of the year's end harvest, and uh, yeah, it's just a nice little celebration of everything autumn. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, it's a dive theme. It's a hideout, so it's a bit smaller than the other bases. So, um, it should be a smaller base tour, but yeah, it's just a little grove that she's cultivated and, um, sharing with everybody, really, to celebrate the autumn's bounty. So, yeah, I'm not gonna get really into it much more than that. I'll let you guys check it out for yourself, so let's start the tour. So we start off here in a thicket or a grove or a forest um, with a path, lots of falling leaves and the changing of the trees. Honestly, I really would have liked it to be mostly all autumn trees, but um, given the canopy situation. Um, I threw in, oh, and the tree lines too, of course, the tree lines are, have greenery on them up top and at the bottom. So um, I kind of spiced it up with cherry blossoms and, and normal trees as well, but ideally it would be all autumn themed. <laughs> um, so yeah, our first stop is this nice little alcove with a waterfall here. And take a look here. I love those small waterfalls. They're so cool. <laughs> and if we keep following the path here, we got some mushrooms to be cultivated in this little cavern here. Nice squishy, damp area for the mushrooms to grow. <laughs> and over here, we have our bonfire where our celebration is taking place. So we can host all our friends and share the bounty with them. So I've got like a little semi-octagon shape here with the log benches for like just a communal sitting and, you know, Sharing area with the tiki torches. You gotta keep the uh, keep the mosquitoes at bay, <laughs> as you will. Um, and then there's a little uh, a little spread of all the things that we've cultivated from our garden: some fruit and veggies and some honey, of course. And then we've got the hammock for maximum lounging potential. <laughs> And of course, the harvest moon above peeking through. I also like in the dive theme how it has the smoke coming up. I wish it would have been right in the middle so it would have gone with the campfire a little bit more. But if you angle it just right, it looks like it's smoking a bit there. <laughs> okay, so if we keep going on our path here... We'll get deeper into the grove. Get some more foliage. And I use these rocks here to kind of hide the stairs. So it's more of like a little cliff, actually, or a plateau. Um, you'll get a better look of it up here, I hope. As we cross the threshold and find our little cabin in the woods. <laughs> So we have the well here in the entrance, as well as an open area to our shed, I guess it would be, or garage, or outdoor, our outdoor storage unit here. <laughs> um, and inside here, you can see back there the uh, amenity generators hidden. So we have a 
little bench here for maximizing fertilizer potential for our horticulture um, endeavors. Um, creating little saplings for the garden in both terrariums and hydroponics. Some tools to help and some compost, of course. And then we got a little light and friendly little spider to keep some of the unwanted pests away. So, oh, and our rocking chair, of course. Got a. If you're gonna have a cozy little cabin in a grove, you gotta, um, you know, have the the maximum chill accessories so rocking chair is a must <laughs> and then we have the garden so we've got our pumpkin patch here which you saw the pumpkins from our spread down below um, variety of plants here waiting to be Cultivated along with our friendly little smiling scarecrow. <laughs> uh, then we have a little apiary area here for the bees to collect some honey. <laughs> and a bird bath as well. Or maybe just the area for water, for watering pills or whatever. But I guess we have the well over there too. So yeah, I guess this would be more of a bird bath. And above we got the wooden trills there for vines. Any vined plants as well as the moon. Coming through once more. And then we have a small... Uh, I guess it would be winery, <laughs> or at least just a keg, um, fermenting some uh, some wine, too, for the festivities. Because what would an autumn bounty equinox party be without some uh, wine from the, the harvest? <laughs> and behind there, as you can hear, is the teleporter, of course, out. <laughs> All hidden so yeah that's um that's pretty much the whole base like i said it's just a it's a hideout it's a dive theme so it's pretty small but um I, I like what i did with it for the most part i just wanted to do something with the the beautiful autumn trees and leaves for once i do wish there were more um accessories for them like autumn canopies and dead grass and and certain things like that to kind of make everything else shine. But, you know, that's okay. It's all alright. We we make what we can with what we have. Maybe uh, ne maybe next Halloween we'll give us some. So. But yeah, guys, uh, that was the tour. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see any more bases, uh, I post them regularly on Wednesday and yeah, <laughs> I have a bunch of, of other ones too. If you want to check the playlist too, as well, um, and get caught up on the ones that I've already published. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and thanks again for watching. Take care.